Welcome to class, everyone. I'm Miss Katie, the vegan teacher. I'm situated in Montreal, Canada, and I'm on social media for one reason only, to try to convince you to be brave enough to learn the truth about what happens to animals in the meat, dairy, and egg industries. I want to convince you that you should be vegan from now on. Vegan because it is great for your health, because it's great for the environment, but most especially because it is the best thing for the animals who don't deserve to suffer the way that they are right now. Right now, we are behind the scenes of a premiere and the premiere is gonna be called, Nobody Should Have Kids. And there's a question there. Do you agree or disagree? And write your ideas in the comments. I wanna thank 151 people here for hanging out and chatting away here and uh, just you know, basically waiting and having a good time before the video begins. The premiere is gonna start in 13 minutes, which is November 11th at eight o'clock tonight. Thank you for 140,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate you all. Thank you for watching these documentaries too. Don'twatch.org and watchdominion.com. I just recently found out that you can also get to the Dominion movie by going to watchdominion.org. So in fact, it's don'twatch.org and watchdominion.org as well, which is kind of a cool thing because sometimes it's hard to remember both of them. Anyway, here is the comment section. My goal for this video is to chat with you guys a little bit because it is very hard to type all the time. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I see. If I see something good, I'll let you know. If I see something I don't like, well, I might put people in timeout. Let's see. Well, here we start here. Hi, Miss Katie. Can I please get mod? I promise I'll be a good boy. Um, you can be a moderator on this channel once you become vegan fully and you show me that you are teaching. So here, uh, I do post some things I have prepared in advance and some of the times I refer to the ethical vegans and I, here's an example. Thank you for being amazing teaching assistants to help here when I am away creating new videos. The animals are so grateful that uh, you, for all that you do to protect them. So there's also more of them here. Uh, each premiere, people need to be taught about the class uniform. So if you are vegan and you are an animal defender teaching assistant here in blue, Please remember uh, that you need to be taught about the uniform and why I ask you to wear it. Please explain what it is and how it should look every minute or two. Thank you. So what the uniform is, is when people are in blue, teaching assistants are in blue, and I ask them to write their word vegan, like this, for example, and the first name and their city that they're from, the country and their age, separated all by some uh, underscores. These people are chatting to each other, sometimes specifically, but in general, they should be co copying and pasting the important comments and educating everybody here while they wait. Because there's a lot of people who post things that are just um, not, uh, not not truthful. People are really mis missed up. Let's see what it says here, wait. That vegan teacher, I, I ate only bread, lettuce, applesauce today, and a Pop-Tart. I don't know if that's vegan, but still. <laughs> no, the Pop-Tart is pretty Probably not vegan but it sounds to me like you need more calories than just that you need to have some lentils you need to have some chickpeas some rice and some beans make sure you have something green like lettuce depends what type of lettuce it is usually iceberg lettuce is not as good for you as kale spinach bok choy those types of things and you have if you have something to tell me sweetheart just tell me don't say I need to tell you because by the t you know I might not see it everything just jumps around here Okay, so a vegan helper, call her out of 14. So here you have to have your first name and then we will see what you're up to. Um, I live close to a cow farm, okay. Vegan teacher 2020, only fans for the animals. Mm huh? Are Pop-Tarts vegan? No, they're not. Go ahead, Isabel. And then, I mean, unless there's maybe a brand that makes them vegan, I don't know. Oh, that's a yawn for me. I have been up since, um, Oof, three o'clock in the morning, even earlier than that. I it is gets dark here in Montreal very early right now at about four thirty or five o'clock in the evening since the clocks changed, and so I usually go to bed um, and then I sleep for a little while and then I'm up <laughs> very very early unfortunately, um, and I don't get enough sleep. I need to get more sleep, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I only sleep about five hours a night, and it's not enough anyway. You guys don't care about that. Let me go on and read your comments. Yeah, so Pop-Tarts are not vegan. Okay. 
So vegan Oliver Canada, eat your veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds. Okay, vegan Oliver, let's try and make you a mod since you are have your um, uniform on. Let's press this here and add moderator. And who else? Press this here. Thank you um, to Vegan Zane America for spamming all this beautiful stuff. I'm going to show that. Please teach some uh, interesting vegan facts if you would like to be a moderator. Being vegan means you should be defending animals and putting an end to the animal holocaust. Okay, thank you, uh, Oliver. Just remember not to use capital letters to uh, scream at people. It feels like a screaming, uh, and so it's best to just leave that when you really have to say something important. So like here, for example, almost is accentuated. Well, I almost ate all the food today. Well, thank you, Ambers. You know, you're trying. That's the important part. You're going to get there. Um, I know it's not easy, especially if you're a kid and you're reliant on your parents for food. Let's just show this. What else do we have here? Um, means you have no heart. Do you not understand that animals can feel pain? Okay, that's a very good question. Thank you for being here. Uh, Aquila. What are the benefits of being vegan? Do you get good karma? Well, maybe you do. I don't know. All I know is that it feels great to not hurt animals. And everybody should be vegan because all that means is you're doing your best three times a day. And you're not buying leather. You're not buying wool. You're not buying fur. It means that you are being kind to animals and doing your best not to hurt them. So that vegan teacher believes in God, then why did Jesus give fish for people to eat? I don't believe that the stories in the Bible are all necessarily true. I think they were written by humans, and I think that we should take what we what is good from the Bible, and the rest we should leave. If the Bible tells you to hurt animals, then just rip those pages out. If the Bible tells you, thou shalt not kill, well, leave that page there, or maybe cut it out and put it on your fridge or something. <sighs> Basically, you know what's right and wrong. You don't need a book to tell you. Come on, guys. I have a question. I work on a farm with animals. Am I an animal abuser? Well, what do you do to them? You're an animal abuser if you eat them. Then you're an animal abuser. You pay someone else to murder them for you. If farm animals are... Where did it go? Oof. Oh, here. Okay, that didn't make sense. Eggs aren't chickens smart eggs aren't you i don't know what that means do you have a discord maybe i can ask questions there only if you're comfortable okay um allergies are not an excuse to not be vegan there are thousands upon thousands of vegan foods to choose from there, there's definitely thousands of vegan foods that's true all right what is another good thing here try just egg plant-based eggs haven't tried them but I have friends who like them. I tried Just Egg when I went to a restaurant, a fast food place that serves vegan burgers. It was like a vegan sort of muffin thing with a vegan uh, meat, and it was delicious. I don't eat processed foods very often though. Okay, Vegan Oliver, oh, good to see you. All right, says he, Vegan Hero, that's nice. Try asking questions in the comments and tag the mods you want to answer. Good idea, yeah, tag each other, help each other. Um, vegan hero, not to be rude, but what did you just type? Okay, not sure what you're talking about here. Now remember, Oliver, you should teach vegan facts. You can have a little chatting once in a while, but mainly you're here to post the vegan comments that I always post. I'll give you an example of one. Let me see over here. Oh, first of all, I actually want to remind everybody that each time that you post, you should put something in the main comment section as well to keep teaching over there. So for example, this one, uh, teaching assistance, each time you write, ethical vegan information here, copied in the main comment section right away. So visitors can continue to learn after the video premieres. Thank you. Okay, let's go over here and talk about animals a little bit. So with regard to animals, um, it's wrong to rape, enslave, confine, torture, or eat animals for taste pleasure, for smell pleasure, or because you like to hear them scream in agony. Sensory pleasure is no excuse for animal abuse. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to scroll down here. Let me show you to the rest of to the other section here, and then I can copy my same comment right here. That way, people will be able to read it later as well. Doop. Here we go. Okay, let's put this back up here. The premiere is going to begin in four minutes. 
Thank you again, everybody, for choosing soy milk instead of cow milk. Thank you for choosing uh, vegan cheese instead of cow cheese. Thank you for talking to people about veganism. Thank you for bringing it up, teaching others, subscribing to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so and press the notification bell. Subscribe and press the notification bell. Okay. Maybe instead of a period, I'll put a avocado. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. I cannot force you to go vegan. I hope you realize. Yeah, exactly. It's true. Can't force somebody to be vegan. We can just talk about it and hope that they'll become vegan on their own. You can't go to your house and shove tofu down your throat, though we would like to, if we could, because we want you to stop hurting the animals. Oh, that was too many. Let's go here. Okay. I don't like it when it lines up like that for some reason. It doesn't look good, like half a sentence. What do you guys think? Let me respond some more. I do, says uh, Carol, Simon, or I do, you're talking to that person I get. Did you watch Dr. Pole yet, Ms. Katie? I don't know who Dr. Pole is. Nope. I guess I should memorize that. Dr. Pole. What is that about? No such thing as a food chain. Okay, guys. Happy Veterans Day. Yes, it's December. Uh, sorry, November 11th. It is Vets Day. We have 179 people here chatting away. And today's question in this video that's going to go up in about 60 seconds is, should you have kids. Do you think so? Or should nobody have kids? When you have kids, you create a lot of pollution. And that is the point of this video is to talk about that. I am showing in this video, another video, which is a very short one, where a man meets a woman at a bus station and he starts talking about um, antinatalism and basically suggesting that having kids is terrible for the environment and that, um, well, that makes her feel pretty uncomfortable, let's just say. What do you guys think? Do you think it is a selfish act to have children? Or do you think it's a selfless act? What do you think? There's 205 people here. Give me your opinion. I would just want to draw your attention before the thing starts, which is in just a couple of minutes, that there's a site here that I want you to know about called Forks Over Knives. Forks Over Knives is actually a movie, a documentary, and they have this site here and there's really cool stuff. Look, you have recipes up here. There's all different kinds of articles. There's different health topics, like about acne, Alzheimer's, diabetes, everything, and all to do with based around uh, different kinds of healthy foods. You've got, look at this. Doesn't this look delicious? Look at that. So there's no reason why you can't be vegan. They've got all kinds of ideas here whole food, plant-based, vegan meals, planning. Look at that. No more guessing. That was section here, no more guessing. Cook delicious vegan meals, shop smarter and save time. Stress less, eat more. Plant foods are naturally low in calories and high in fiber. Eat when you're hungry without hesitation. And to save time and reduce waste with our organized grocery lists and weekend prep guides. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the get my free meal plan. Doesn't that sound good? And there's another one here about delicious meals. All kinds of stuff here. Exclusive recipes you'll love. Look at that. Some suggestions for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Doesn't that look cool? All right, so you have all kinds of help online. If you want to be vegan when you're ready to start, you are covered over here. There's a cooking course that you, you can sign up for here. Look at that. Become a plant-based chef. Home chef in 90 days. Led by world-renowned chefs and educators. Learn to look, cook 100 recipes. You can join this course. And... 
a lot of stuff on here is free. How to choose knives, that's interesting. Cooking without oil and creating healthier stocks and sauces. That's nice, right? Okay, you'll get a lifetime access to all the courses and so on if you uh, sign up one time. But then remember that there's a lot of, health, of healthy stuff that is completely free. I mean, all different recipes. Look at this. Doesn't this look delicious? So many delicious vegan foods that are cruelty free. Nobody had to be harmed. Wonderful. Packed with nutrients. 14 healthy hummus recipes we can't get enough of. Wow. Mexican recipes. Eight budget friendly meals. Do you guys remember the site I told you? Look again. Forks over knives. Okay, I'm going to do a whole video just about this site actually because there's so much here and I just think that it would take, it, there's there's a lot to learn. I want, really want you guys to feel comfortable and know your way around here. Healthy, delicious, vegan mac and cheese. Vegan sweet potato recipes, baked, roasted, and beyond. 27 healthy vegan recipes that are totally crave worthy. Look at that. Our best plant-based 4th of July recipes. All time favorite recipes. <laughs> from the Forks Over Knife staff. Oh, look at this. Who wouldn't like a brownie? Doesn't that look awesome? Stress baking. Our top 20 baked recipes that are healthy and comforting. Amazing. Look at that. Okay, you get the idea. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. If you like this video, please press like. Please subscribe. Press the notification bell, help me get the animals out of hell, and let's get you guys to start eating healthy vegan foods, make the world a better place. Coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Be curious, look around that vegan teacher's site. There are over a thousand videos in the archives that you might not have seen yet. Look around, press on them, and you'll see that I've talked to different chefs, I've talked to amazing vegans, and also to animal abusers. I've done videos on books, I've reviewed different videos, I even sing, all kinds of stuff. Thank you so much for being here. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Doot, 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 doot.